Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwebin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install the latest Evolution X ROM onto your Redmi Note 10 Pro. So let's get started. First and foremost, please take a backup of all the data on your phone. Once that is done, then your first course of action is to install the Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. As you could see, in my case, I've done the extraction in C drive and these are the files of platform tools. So moving on, you will now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. The USB debugging is required to execute ADB command, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now carry out both this task. For that, you have to go to settings menu on your phone. From settings menu, you have to go to about phone. Then you have to go to detailed info and specs and tap on MIUI version seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back, then again go back, and now go to additional settings, and you should now see developer option. So go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking, as well as USB debugging. You will now get a prompt on your phone. Check mark, I am aware of all the risk, and now you have to wait for 10 seconds. Once that time frame has elapsed, just tap on OK. So you might now get an RSA key prompt as well. So tap on OK. And with this, we have enabled USB debugging as well. So let's now verify the debugging connection. For that, you have to go to platform folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC, disable and re-enable USB debugging, tap on remote USB debugging, use the official cable that came with your phone, and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting an ID. Once you are getting this ID, you could now move ahead. So your next course of action is to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that doing so will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. So if that's well and good, you could refer to my guide or the video and get this job done using the official me unlock tool. Once you've unlocked the bootloader, your next course of action is to download the firmware for your phone. The suite is for all the regions except India and Sudan is for the India region as you could see from the IN at the end. So as of now, currently, first off, you have to install the OTA updates on your phone. So make sure that under about phone section, MRUI version, there are no pending updates. If there is any pending update, please install them right away. Once that is done, we will also flash the firmware just to be double sure. So as of now, download the firmware which corresponds to your region. So as you can see, in my case, it's TK of INXM. So wherein IN is the region code. So I'll be using that firmware. So let me explain to you in short as well how to understand the firmware code. So over here, as you could see, this is the firmware. So the 14.0.1.0 is the version. Then T stands for Android version. And after that, KF is the device code. And then IN is the region. And XM stands for the Zombie firmware, which is same for all the firmware. So likewise, if we choose for any other region, then as you can see, T is the Android version. KF is our phone. And over here, MI is for the global version. And likewise, EU is for the European version. So make sure to download the firmware which corresponds to your region. Once you have got the firmware, you will now have to transfer the firmware onto your phone. So let's now carry out that task as well. So it will take only a few seconds. Just a minute, let me copy and paste the firmware file onto my phone. So this is the firmware file, simply transfer it onto your phone and paste it here. It might take a little while, so let's just move ahead with the next step. So your next course of action is to download the Evolution X ROM for your phone. So you could download the ROM from here. Once you have got the ROM, you will have to then transfer the ROM file onto your phone as well. So in my case, I already have the ROM file. So let me show you that as well. So this is the ROM file, Evolution X ROM file. Simply you have to now transfer the ROM file onto your phone as well. So as of now, make sure that the ROM file 
as well as a firmware file both should be on your phone so let's just wait for a few minutes for the file to be transferred and then we will move ahead so guys as you could see both the custom rom which is evolution x rom as well as the firmware file have now been transferred onto our phone and we could now move ahead with the next step so now you will have to move your phone to fast boot mode so just open the cmd window and type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone should now boot into the fast boot mode in a matter of few seconds so let's just wait for the time frame and we will then move ahead so as you could see we are now in the fast boot mode let's now verify the connection so type in fast boot devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial id if you are not getting any id then you will have to install fast boot drivers i have made a guide and a video on the same you can refer to my guide and get this job done once you have installed the drivers also use the windows s shortcut keys then use the device manager and expand the android phone section then make sure that your phone is been shown as android boot to the interface so this as well as the serial id signify that the pc is able to read the phone in fast boot mode and we are now going to go ahead so next up you will now have to flash the orange orange fox recovery so as of now this rom recommends the orange fox recovery version r11.3 so let's flash this recovery for that you could refer to my guide so first and foremost i will advise you to boot your phone to recovery and if your phone boots to recovery then we will permanently flash it it's never recommended to directly flash it always first boot your phone to recovery then verify if everything is working or not and if it's working well and good then you could move ahead and, and flash the recovery so let's first temporarily boot our phone to orange for recovery for that i made a video on the same as well but let's do that once again so we have already check mark all these requirements so move ahead so as of now just a minute we'll have to install the recovery version r111.3 so let's download this recovery version so this is the version which we want r11.3 so download the recovery from here i have also listed the name of the recovery files and the custom rom which is required so for evolution x as you could see it's this recovery itself so download the recovery file from here is the zip file and once you have got the recovery file you have to place it in the platinum boot folder so this is the recovery file simply copy it and paste it in the platinum boot folder and now although we our phone has the recovery partition and we could simply flash it via the flashing command but we will not flash it we will first temporarily boot our phone to this recovery and verify and then permanently flash it so for booting our phone we require the img file so simply extract the recovery zip file right click on it and select extract all and click on extract and with this we have got the orange fox img file so copy this file the recovery img file and paste it inside the platinum boot folder on your pc so this is orange fox recovery img file and you will now use this file to temporarily boot our phone to orange fox so now just use the command of fast boot boot recovery dot img and hit enter so let's now verify if our phone is able to boot up to this recovery or not if it boots to this recovery then it means that the recovery is working well and good and we could then move ahead and permanently flash the recovery file so in a matter of seconds as you could see our phone has booted to this recovery so the recovery is working fine and we could now permanently flash it now for flashing this recovery you could take two approaches you could either transfer the recovery zip file or the recovery img file if you are transferring the recovery zip file then simply flash it as a normal zip file if you are transferring the img file then you have to select the img file and flash it to the recovery partition so let me show you both these approaches or any one of the two so the zip file is quite simple simply select the zip file and flash it and if you are transferring the img file so let me show you the img method as well or rather let me show you both the methods so first and foremost you have to transfer the required file onto your phone if you are using the img method then transfer the img file if you are using the zip method then transfer the zip file as of now i'll show you both these methods so you should only use any one of the two methods so for instance if you are using the zip method so let me show you the zip method 
for that you just have to select the zip file or in call zip file and do a write up to flash it and the flashing of the recovery will take only a few seconds and it will now automatically move to the Orange Fox recovery. So let's just wait for the time frame. So this was the first method to flash the recovery using the zip file. Now the second method is using the recovery IMP file itself. So let me show you how you could flash the recovery file using that method. So once you have transferred the recovery IMP file onto your phone, all you have to do is simply select the recovery IMP file, then choose the recovery partition and do a write up to flash it and it will now be flashed onto your phone. Once done, tap on report recovery and your phone will now remove to the orange box recovery. So there are two approaches. First and foremost, you just have to download the orange box recovery zip file and extract the IMG file. Once you've got the IMG file, simply use the fast boot boot command to temporarily boot your phone to the orange box recovery. Once that is done, you could either simply flash the recovery zip file or flash the recovery IMP file with the recovery partition and then reboot your phone to the recovery board. So with this, we have flashed the Orange Fox recovery and we could now move ahead to the next step. So next up, we just have to flash the firmware and the ROM file. So first and foremost, you have to flash the firmware file. So select the firmware file and do a right up to flash it and the flashing of the firmware will now start and it could take around two minutes. So regarding the Firmware flashing, in most cases, you could simply flash the firmware using the DWRP or Orange Fox recovery. But in rare cases, if a developer has said that you should not use any of the two recovery, then you could also flash the firmware using password command. I have given a list of command as well. So in my guide on firmware flashing, you, you could refer to my guide and check out the steps. So first off is the flashing via PWRP recovery and Orange Fox is quite simple. Simply flash the zip file. On the other hand, if you want to flash via the password commands, then I've given all the commands. You just have to flash the individual files to their partition and you can also flash the firmware using this method. But I will not recommend this method until and unless the ROM developer has told you to do so. Generally, you should only use the custom recovery method, which is the, either the Orange Fox or the PWRP method. But if the developer has asked you to use the password command, then you could flash this command and the firmware file will be flashed. Just verify that all the files are there in the firmware. If there is any additional files, then you could ask me in the comments. And if a file is not there in the firmware, then simply ignore that command from here. Anyways, with that said, the firmware is not flashing and it will take a couple of more minutes. So let's just wait for the time frame. The flashing of the firmware is now complete. Once that is done, you will now have to reboot your phone to the recovery mode. It is extremely important. So please do that as well. So go back, then go to the menu, select reboot and select recovery. And your phone will now reboot to the Orange Fox recovery. If you don't do so, then you will get an error code one or something along the following lines. So please make sure to reboot your phone recovery after flashing the firmware and before flashing a ROM. Always make sure to reboot your recovery. Once that is done, you could now flash the ROM file onto your phone. So just select the ROM file and do a right step to flash it. And the flashing of the Evolution X ROM will now start and it could take up to a couple of minutes. So let's just wait for a time frame and then we'll be back. So guys, the flashing of ROM is now complete. Now you will have to do a format data. Do note that this will wipe off all the data on your phone. So now go to the wipe section, then go to the format data tab, type in yes, and hit the orange check mark. And it will now do a format data. It will take only a few seconds. Once that is done, you could now tap on reboot system. And with this, the flashing is now complete. And our phone should now go to the new flash OS. Do keep in mind that the first boot up will take up some additional time frame, which is completely normal from the subsequent time. It will not take that much longer. So let's just wait at least for the Evolution X or the Google boot animation to pop up. And after that, we could wait. If you see the boot animation, then this signifies. So as you could see, it's the Evolution X boot animation. 
So when just the flashing is not complete, let's just wait for the phone to boot up, and then we will check out the UI and UX of the ROM. So guys, the first time boot up took up to around I guess a couple of minutes. That is completely normal and nothing to worry about. So as of now, I'm skipping the initial setup screen and I'm doing in an offline mode just to take you to the OS. So let me skip all the stuff from now right off, right away and we will boot up to the OS. So with this, we are now in the Evolution X ROM as you could see. This is the app drawer, this is the QS styles. Let's go to the FedEx menu and the Evolver is the USB of this ROM. This section contains all the goodies. So let me show you, for example, these are the theme section, the theming settings. Then we have the dark theme or the, you could also schedule the dark theme. Then the numerous types of fonts are also present here. Let me change the font style. Next up, we have the item packs. There are quite a lot of item packs. The system UI will undergo a restart as soon as you change an item pack. That is completely normal. Then we have a signal Wi-Fi and icon shape as well. So the scroll is something new which I have, haven't seen in many custom ROMs. So next up, let's move ahead to the next tweak. Navigation bar style as well. So this is the Motorola style. So that will happen when you choose three button layout. As of now, we are using the navigation gesture. That's why it's not visible. Then there are a few status bar tweaks as well. The clock, clock logo, battery style. There are quite a lot of battery style. Portrait mix, battery charging signal. So you could have a look at all these tweaks. Then we have the next up is the notification icons. Let me check out the notification tweaks as well. So these are the various notifications. Customizations, then we have the QS toggles and icon label, vertical layout, battery percentage, QS pull down, pull status bar from the right. So, if you could directly pull from the right and it will expand, open in an expander state right away. Then, animation side is also there, flip. So, let me check. Okay, and then we have some other tweaks. So there are quite a lot of customizations in these options. Let me check regarding the advanced restart. So advanced restart is also there. So you could directly boot your phone to the recovery or follow mode from here, which is extremely useful. Then we have a few gestures, system system setting gestures as well. Quick tap to start actions. So this is something which came with the Pixel phones and now even in the Pixel phone, there are only around three to four options, but this ROM has more than that option. And even that, you could add your own app to this back tab as well. Then you have to swipe to take screenshot as well. So as of now, I'm seeing that there are quite a lot of customization tweaks in this option. Then there are animations and some miscellaneous tweaks, parallel space, gaming space, smart pixels, okay, unlimited Google photo storage. You don't have to hook the phone and flash the pixel mode, it's there by default. That's quite impressive. And apart from that, it's the usual UI of this ROM, AOSP ROM. Then it's okay, there are some sweet ports. By sweet, it's our phone code name. So, high refresh rate you could choose, takes the high refresh rate up to 120 Hz. So, it will it will drain more battery, but your phone will stick at 120 refresh hertz all the time. Or you could also, there are also refresh rate profiles which you could choose for individual apps. So guys, as you could see, there are quite a lot of customization. So if you are looking for a stable, fast, snappy and a ROM which has quite a lot of tweaks, then the Evolution X ROM might be the perfect choice. And on that note, I round up this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.